We're going to take a look at infectious diseases, what they are, some terms used to describe them, and take a look at a few different types of infectious diseases. First of all, what is an infectious disease? An infectious disease is a disease caused by an infectious agent like viruses, bacteria, parasites, or fungi. Infectious diseases are a global problem and in the past used to be the leading cause of death. There were large epidemics of smallpox, TB, syphilis, cholera, and plague that caused millions of deaths around the world. The 1918 influenza pandemic alone was responsible for the death of around 40 million people globally. Thankfully, advances in nutrition, antibiotics, immunization, food safety, housing and sanitation has led to a massive reduction in infectious diseases. However, even now, they're a problem. In 2012, infectious diseases were responsible for three of the top 10 causes of death in the world. These three were lower respiratory tract infections, HIV AIDS, and diarrheal diseases. In addition to this, malaria and tuberculosis continue to affect millions of people. New diseases like Ebola and MERS-CoV have sprung up causing deadly outbreaks and killing thousands of people. Let's have a look at what happens when a person gets infected and talk about some terms that are used to describe infectious diseases. When an organism enters the body, some people fight it off with their immune system while others can go on to develop disease. People are likely to develop disease if they have weakened immune systems. This could be due to drugs, age, or other disease. They're also more likely to develop the disease if they're not immune to it. For example, if they haven't had the disease before or if they haven't been vaccinated. The time from when someone gets infected to when symptoms start is called the incubation period. The clinical stage of the disease is marked by the onset of symptoms. There can be considerable variation in the clinical stage ranging from very mild symptoms to very severe symptoms. The disease lasts until the infection has resolved or the person dies. Now for some important terms that you'll hear when describing infectious diseases. The infectious period is the time during which the infected person can spread the disease and infect others. Sometimes people may not have any symptoms, but still be able to infect others. These people are called carriers. Case fatality is a measure of the severity of a disease. It is the proportion of people that die from being infected. For example, if 6 out of 10 people with the disease die from it, the case fatality is 60%. The basic reproductive rate is a term that describes how infectious a disease is. It is the average number of secondary cases that occurs as a result of one infected individual. For example, measles can have a basic reproductive rate of up to 15. This means that one case of measles can cause up to 15 other cases of measles. Another way to measure infectiousness and the spread of disease is the secondary attack rate. This is the proportion of people who are exposed to the disease that develop an infection. For seasonal influenza, it's about 10%, meaning one out of every 10 susceptible people exposed to an influenza case will develop the infection. Now, let's have a look at some important categories of infectious diseases. Zoonotic diseases are diseases of animals which, when transmitted to humans, can cause disease. It is estimated that over 60% of human infectious diseases are zoonotic. Examples of zoonotic diseases include diseases like leptospirosis, toxoplasmosis, campylobacter, and rabies. An emerging infectious disease is a disease that has appeared in the population for the first time, or one that may have existed previously but is rapidly increasing in incidence or geographical range. Examples of emerging infectious diseases include MERS-CoV, Ebola, Hendra, and new influenza strains. Neglected tropical diseases are a group of tropical diseases that affect the poorest countries of the world. Traditionally, they have not received much global attention but continue to cause illness in the most vulnerable groups of people in the world. They include diseases like leishmaniasis, trachoma, sleeping sickness, and schistosomiasis. Vector-borne diseases are diseases that are transmitted from an infected animal or human to another person through the bite of a vector. The most common vector is the mosquito. Others include ticks, flies, fleas, or snails. Example of vector-borne diseases are malaria, dengue, sleeping sickness, and schistosomiasis. Vector-borne diseases are responsible for over 17% of all infectious diseases and cause more than 1 million deaths each year. So that's a quick introduction to infectious diseases, what they are, some terms to describe them, and a few different types.